Hello there, Year 9. Last week we began to look at rules and why sometimes people break rules and how sometimes that's a really good thing. And I introduced you to the idea of moonshot thinking and how sometimes the rules that we put in place need to be broken. There was an almost unwritten rule that we'd never go to the moon and yet after JFK said yes we will, people put their amount of time into it and changed the way that we think, changed the way that we make rules up about certain things like you can't break the law of gravity and the rule of gravity and things like that. But today we're going to go one step further and we're going to look at laws. Laws themselves are slightly different to rules, they're slightly more serious. And the reason for that is that we have rules in school, like walking on the left-hand side. However, there's very little chance that you're going to get arrested and go to prison if you break that rule. In fact, there's, it's not going to happen. But there's certain laws or rules, really strict rules called laws, that we need. For example, things like do not murder. Imagine if that wasn't a law and it was just a rule and people would just get told off for doing it. Then murder might happen a lot more. And the reason for that is that we need to protect people. If we're going to work as a society, as a community, then people need protection from such serious things. And even things like stealing. Now, you might think that going into your local Marks and Spencers or, or big shop like that, your local Asda or Morrisons, is quite okay to just go out and to actually take something that doesn't belong to you. Well, the reason why it's not okay is it belongs to somebody. Somebody has purchased that goods. Now, whilst they may be for resale, that's how they make their money. Now, imagine someone coming into your house and stealing your television or stealing your mobile phone. Now, you wouldn't particularly like that, would you? Now, just because that is not owned by a particular person but by a business doesn't make it any less stealing. And so, therefore, there's a law against it. And people who steal a lot and a lot often will be locked away and the the purpose of locking them away is to actually try and make sure that they don't do it again and actually they rehabilitate and come back into society now those kind of things are really 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 important for society to actually progress and to make its way forward now over time that some rules and some laws have changed here I can show you quite a few rules that are important were important at one time in the world uh, certainly in England but nowadays would seem silly um, and therefore uh, as rules and time changes laws are needed to change as well now I'm going to ask you to spend the next sort of five or ten minutes thinking about any rules in the world or in the UK that you think are so important and so vital that they will never change and also maybe to spend about five you know do, including those five or ten minutes thinking about rules that you think or laws that you think are going to become important in the future that people are going to need to have in place in order that the future works okay that we haven't got those laws in place now what can you think of